Hello, and welcome back to Beyond the Bookshelf. <laughs> I'm Ethan, and today's Ethan seminar is all about traveling. It's when you go from one spot to another. Travel is great because uh, it's all about making it happen, you know? Getting from point A to point B, making your dreams real, making uh, anything you want possible. Anything could be real. As long as you pay enough money, then you could go to Disneyland, you could go to Zimbabwe, you could move to the Caribbean, you could become a pirate, you could um, turn into a velociraptor. Enough money. You could do anything. Uh, travel is one of those things you can do that will open new worlds and new possibilities to you. It'll open your eyes. I traveled because I need to learn knowledge. There's a university that I'm moving to, that I moved to, that I'm in the process of moving to. And this is a hotel room pre-university. That's where I am. Universities are cool things. They teach you knowledge. Uh, and I had to move to one. So now I'm away from Leah. Forever? No, not forever. Just for a fat minute, and then I'll come back and I'll go away again. It'll be a good time. Traveling is where it's at, bucko. So there's gonna be a lot more Ethan seminars about university thingies. Also, I'm a busy boy. I will be a very busy boy doing homework 24 seven. And so I need to have free time. <laughs> I'm gonna have zero free time. Um, I need to do less beyond the bookshelf. Well, I'm going to be a busy boy, so it's not going to happen very much. Travel is a great experience. Um, as you may be able to see, we have a heck of a bunch of luggage. All the luggage in the world possible. Oh, here's my computer. I packed this. This came with me. Uh, it's all shiny and stuff. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. You put stuff in suitcases, like your belongings and your toothbrush and your clothes and your computer and CD-ROMs of your family, whatever. And then you take them out of your bag when you get to your destination and put them in your house. Like this. Boom. Bada bing boom. Look, this is my place. There's a bunch of my stuff. I got them out of suitcases. Look, 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 look. Things everywhere. Here's my computer again. Now I'm playing Van Morrison on repeat. Wow, repeat Van Morrison. I have a lot of orange heck. That's a big secret to packing is that you have to pack a bunch of orange heck. Here's some calculus. Wow, I love calculus. You have a lot of things that are valuable, like vitamins. Vitamins are valuable, and also uh, Cholula. That's very valuable. Uh, look, it's me. When you move places, sometimes you need to have hooks, and that's why you have command hooks. They stick to heck, and then you uh, hook stuff on them, and it's great. Here's my technology containers. Wow. This is where my roommates are. They aren't here right now, but that's where one of them sleeps, and that's where the other one sleeps. Yeah, they're cool. Uh, you put stuff in things like closets and bookshelves and fridges. Sometimes you take uh, cold stuff out of fridges and you have to put them back in fridges or else they stop being good. Traveling is fun because it's new. It's adventures. There's all kinds of fancy experiences to have everywhere. For example, um, I got some sunglasses from this place. I'm cool. That was an experience. Wow, I love experiences. Experiences are based on the places that you go. So in order to have more cool experiences, you have to go new places and see different things, which is fun. Another big thing about traveling is that you meet new people. I would never have met a lot of humans, including roommates, unless I had moved here. So now I know more people. Wow. It's nice to be, oh heck. It's nice to be, have comfort with, um, the humans that you know, but sometimes you want new humans. You know what I'm saying? Well, I don't like want new humans, but I have them. They're everywhere. It's great. There's a lot of humans here. Rochester has a lot of them, like a ton, like a bunch. I mean, like a heck of a bunch. The population of the University of Rochester is bigger than my hometown. There's a lot of them. They do a lot of things. They do all kinds of stuff. Part of traveling is you meet people who do stuff. So I like, I know people who are into photography cameras, which is super cool. I'm friends with like a film major. That's sick. There are people who do the martial arty bits, which I'm down. Uh, there are people who do singing. I'm super down. Uh, there's a bunch of people who do the beatboxy. I've never met 
people who do the beatboxy, but now I'm surrounded by them. <laughs> it's really sick. I mean, people who do the acting, I did an acting. That was fun. Uh, I know people who go to parties. I mean, like, there's, like, a bunch of frat parties, like, everywhere. Always. Constantly. Literally non-stop. No, that's not true. There isn't one at this very moment, I don't think, but time is relative. So, when you're watching this, there could be... There probably is somewhere, some uh, somewhere in the world. I just gotta go find it. It's my mission. Uh, wait. Heck, there's, there's the flaggy boy. It's over there. Look at the flaggy boy. Welcome to Wilson Commons. This is the location where people eat food and look at flaggy boys. Uh, it's a common area. I'm in like a loungy thingy. It's such a good time. There's cool humans everywhere. There's a printer. Anywhere that there's a printer, um, you're safe. I can tell you that right now. That's a fact. Libraries, you're safe. Your house probably has a printer. Sometimes it doesn't, but a lot of the time you're safe in your house. It's great. Look at that printer. Printers are devices used to print things. There's also Sp Starbucks. I can't really tell you whether Starbucks are safe or not. Uh, I don't know anything about Starbucks other than it's um, f food. I don't know. Do people eat soda in Starbucks? I don't know if they serve soda or not. I don't know, maybe you eat soda. That's a, another episode is a Starbucks adventure. Rochester is cool because uh, it's a place where people study knowledge. Hey, look. That's a clock. Wow. It's a big clock. If you walk underneath it, then you don't graduate in four years. Oops, uh, people don't walk underneath it. It's called the Dandelion. People don't walk on the Dandelion. That's Dandelion Square right out there, which there's like performances. There was an acapella thing recently, which was super sick and fat also. Um, it was such a good time. I'm gonna audition for acapella groups soon. I'll keep you posted, but it was a good time. There's all kinds of performances -y in Rochester, which is super cool. Uh, it's right next to Eastman School of Music, which is like a really good music school. So there's like all kinds of like, um, stuff that happens. It's such a good time. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of homework happening. Hard cut to me doing homework. Like a lot, like a ton, like music, like, yeah, that happens all the time. Hey, it's a guy. Hey guys, look at this dude. Oh my God. Woo! Look at this, dude. this man right here. Wow. He's the greatest. If you've never seen Napoleon Dynamite, this man is the spinning image and 10 times smarter, I would say. Great. Look at the, yeah. Thanks so much. You're welcome. And on that deeply flattering note, I'm back in my room. Wow. Shame upon you. Shame upon you and your family. What happened? Actually nothing. I was just, I was filming and then you showed up. Oh. But that's okay. Would you like to restart? Look, you're famous now. No, no, you're a part of it now. This is Wesley. Yeah. Hi. He's famous. Look. Hey, guess what? You remember how I said something about acapella groups? Look, there's an acapella group. Look, I joined an acapella group. Wow. Um, in order to do that, you have to audition and stuff. And I auditioned and stuff, and then it happened. Good times. The Midnight Ramblers. They're the best acapella group. Sorry to everyone else. Um, you can go home now. Uh, from the beginning of this video until now, like a month has passed, and in that time, I've gone from knowing zero people in Rochester to like a lot of humans. Like I know a lot of humans now. I didn't used to know a lot of humans. It's amazing. University is weird. Uh, travel is weird because you meet new people. You meet people you've never could have met before, and then you get to know them. I don't know. All in all, travel highly recommended. Good experience. I would do it if I were you. Uh, 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 maybe take baby steps. Maybe don't travel super far for a super long amount of time to start out with. Maybe take like, I don't know, a weekend trip to the Bahamas before you take a six month trip to the Bahamas. I don't know, just tips before you you'd commit to anything really hardcore. That's my problem. I traveled across the country from little old Oregon to little old New York and now I'm here. And I, it was successful, ultimately. I know people now, and I, I did a good job traveling. It's a it's a time of transition, you know? That's that's what this is really all about. Um, people travel for all kinds of reasons. People will move from place to place out of a desire for the weather. Sometimes they do it because they're drunk, probably. That's probably happened once. People travel for a long time because of love sometimes. Sometimes you find true love lurking far away and you have to track it down and hunt it with your bow and arrow. It's the way true love works, right? Uh, that's pretty much it. Travel is actually quite simple. You go from place to place. There's a lot of cultural stuff around traveling. I mean, you have to take care of whatever you left. 
So like I traveled to New York, but if I didn't have people back in Oregon, then they'd have to feed the cats. A vitally important aspect of life is to be fed. And so if you're gonna take care of animals then you have to feed them, sorry. It's just kind of how it goes. <coughs> anyway, this is my traveling experience. Now I'm here, everything beyond the bookshelf is gonna be New York-y from now on until I go back to Oregon for a little bit and then it'll, I'll have some Oregon-y things. And then I'll go back to New York and it'll be more New York-y. It's just kinda how it's gonna go, you know? Sometimes it's just like that. If you want uh, stuff from New York, like pictures of New York, let me know. Okay, bye bye That's it, that's everything, there's nothing more. Um, just one last comment. Travel safe. If you don't travel safely, then you can't travel. So that's the number one priority is drive safe.